defense at the line, you know, two shots. It's a, it's a crazy feeling um, being at the free throw line, uh, knowing that you've, you've shot a million of them, but this is the one you have to make. Well, it definitely is a lot easier to watch your husband play basketball than it is to watch your son. There's a lot of emotion that goes into it when your son's out on the court. She beats Fredette to the base, hands off to Tilly, stolen away by Jackson Emery, down below Tyler Hawes, ties ahead with back, and he dunks it! He dunks it again! Driving throw down by Tyler Hawes! Oftentimes people will say, well, of course he's good. He's, look at his dad, his dad was a great basketball player, and in my mind, I say, oh no, you don't know. You do not know how hard he has worked. You know, I, I never was the most talented kid, but the one thing that my dad always taught me was that if we just work as hard as we can, good things are gonna happen. When Tyler was in the third grade, he was cut from a team, really good team, and was devastated. So Marty pulled him aside and told him, we'll work harder than everybody, and will put in the time. One of the things that we decided that we would do is we would get up early and we would go over to the church and that we would just start working. We did so many drills in the summer and, and it was repetition of those drills that made it so we could do them in the game. We would keep track. Uh, how many free throws have we made today? And, and we would do it in tens. We would try and shoot 100 a day and um, and get a certain number. At first, it was probably in the 60s or maybe 70s, and, and, and you know, by the end, all you're doing is counting the misses. It was so awesome to have him there um, and be willing to help me um, in, in those early mornings in the summer. By 8 o'clock, when I would take off and go to work, for me to have already spent two hours with him, a um, great blessing in my life and, and I think in, in Tyler's development. You know, the gift that Tyler has been given is he just works. He'll work and work and work. You know, sometimes maybe not having the most natural talent or ability uh, is not the worst thing in the world. It, it, for Tyler, it was, you know what, I'm, I will work hard, and you know, lots of good things have come from that. Dear Elder Hawes, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You are assigned to labor in the Philippines. <laughs> it's always been my plan to serve a mission, and I, I made it a goal when I was you know, a little kid in primary to, to serve a mission. So, um, you know, a lot of people will ask ask me, you know, why are you why are you leaving basketball? Why are you, you have so much going for you? Why why are you leaving right now? Uh, is that hard for you? And if I would be making this decision right now, then it would be really hard. Um, but just the fact that I made that decision a long time ago, it really has has been an easy decision for me. You know, as someone who has served a mission. To be able to go and, and be able to see uh, how the gospel can uh, have an influence on, on people's lives, uh, that's a great blessing. And you know, as a dad, I'm, I'm really happy that Tyler will get to experience that. As a mom, it is tough. But you know, for me, I, I think of the happiness that the gospel brings me as a mother 
and having the relationship with all of my kids and knowing that it's eternal. I think if he can go and give that to another mom, the same thing the gospel's given me, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm so happy he's serving. Be a priesthood man is is a lot more important than all of the other things and we've been able to watch that progress as he was a deacon and a teacher and a priest and watch him magnify his calling watch him serve watch his leadership ability grow and for us to to see him uh, honor his priesthood and know that that's an important thing in his life uh, that that's something that as a parent gives you a, a lot of satisfaction. A mission has always been my plan. It's always been something I wanted to do, and I know that there, there's people in the Philippines uh, that need the gospel and are, and are waiting for me, and I know that when we, we put Heavenly Father first, that He's going to bless us. You know, I just picture myself back at, back at the church with my dad rebounding for me. And I, I just trust myself and trust that my hard work will, will pay off and it'll go in.